Welcome back. The government shutdown has already closed the doors to the Lincoln home. But is it having an adverse effect on another local tourist destination? About 5,200 people attended the state-run Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum last week. That's 14 percent less than the same period last year. A museum spokesman said he was unsure if it was a direct result of the shutdown, as attendance numbers can fluctuate by hundreds or even thousands from year to year. What museum officials can tell us is that many people have called to make sure the museum is still open. So far as I know, we haven't had any groups cancel because they can't go to the Lincoln home while they're in town. So it doesn't seem to have a major impact if, if it's having any at all. Certainly, we hear from our, our visitors, they're unhappy that they can't get to see the Lincoln home as well as the museum, but luckily there are plenty of other great Lincoln things for them to do in town. Chris Wills said it was possible last year's numbers were also inflated by an event or extra attention stemming from the movie Lincoln, which came out in November. Well, GOP gubernatorial candidate Bruce Rauner announced Wheaton City Council member Evelyn Sanguinetti as his running mate Tuesday. She's a lawyer who was once an assistant attorney general in Illinois. Rauner is the last Republican candidate to announce a running mate. Illinois Treasurer Dan Rutherford named attorney Steve Kim. State Senator Bill Brady chose former Long Grove Village President Maria Rodriguez and State Senator Kirk Dillard announced State Representative Joe Tracy. Governor Quinn has yet to announce his running mate. Well, a Jacksonville man is receiving thousands in a settlement against the city. $115,000 will go to Raymond Wilson. He filed the suit in December of 2011 after his leg was broken during an incident with police. The police chief tells WLDS Radio in Jacksonville the settlement is not an admission of guilt. He says his officers did nothing wrong and the settlement is part of a formula used to decide if a trial or settlement would be more cost effective. And there is some relief for those who suffer from allergies. It might be warm and pleasant right now, but state climatologist Jim Angel says the first frost isn't far off. So be prepared to cover your plants and flowers. Angel adds the frost could come as soon as mid-October, but there's no way to pinpoint an exact date. It's as early as late September, and then other years it can be as late as uh, early November. But October is probably the month when we're most likely to see that first fall frost. Again, if you want to keep your flowers alive a little bit longer, be prepared to cover or bring your delicate flowers or plants indoors. Well, more rain chances are headed this way. Joe lets you know when in just a bit. Plus, he's the world's best anchor man, and now he's the world's best car salesman. We'll explain after the break. You stay classy Springfield. And <laughs> don't forget to join the No Tech Zone. Take the pledge at WICS.com and help make Central Illinois roads safe.